Mercedes B. Guess what next? I know you guys probably already thinking about it. F C. A B C D will be drugs. Right? Acetaminophen classic. It will ruin your central vein. It basically damages, it due to free radical generation. It knocks out a couple of your powder side, you get a little bit of LFT and LST. So Tylenol will knock out your liver. Believe it or not. But you have to have to take in like 800 milligrams of it like for so long. It's not like you're going to take one because I got a headache. and not, No, 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 no. Don't think that. So don't let me scare you. But it's a poison of its own because over if you take for external, you're taking it for 10 years. Think about it. Your liver is, you know, metabolizes things through like cytokine P450, which we all know. But that's usually So drugs are toxins, okay? E, then F, G, H, I. I just kind of want to write that out. Alcohol. That's the first thing I say is the most common cause of liver damage. Fatty liver. This is called like non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. It's called NASH. It's actually associated with people that have obesity, hyperlipidemia, that sort of kind of stuff. Uh, G and H. Uh, I'm going to remember G in a minute. H is for, um, let's see. I'm blanking out. Actually, G is for growth. Exactly. Guess what? Tumors. What tumor metastasize to the liver? What's the most common metastasize uh, metastasis to the liver? GI cancer. A, a guy comes in with colon cancer, you know, it's coming in, it's bleeding, some sort of like iron deficiency anemia, you spot like 70, 60. Anybody above 50 that comes in into the hospital and it's high, like uh, if it has like microcytic anemia, it's bleeding until otherwise proven and it's probably cancer. So you probably want to rule that out. And guess what? If it's ridiculous, like, uh, you know, some like a uh, villous adenoma, adenocarcinoma, a uh, polyp that's, you know, metastasized, it will go straight to the to the liver. And do you know why? I just showed you the structure a minute ago. You know, I used to memorize this stuff and I'm like, hold on. If the portal vein is the only way you're going to get to the liver from the GI, if anything's going to metastasize into the bloodstream, it's going to metastasize to the liver, guys. That's the first thing it's going to That lung cancer can metastasize to the liver. Breast cancer, you know, it kind of all makes sense. Your breast is right here, you drop that, you know, it's a kind of jazz. H and I, I put I as infiltrative. And, uh, I call it iron, like you know, like hereditary hemo um, hemochromatosis where you have a, a lot of iron deposition. Iron forms a lot of free radicals. It's the free radicals that's killing your liver, guys. Uh, Wilson's disease will do it. Uh, and um, I'll put in Bud Chiari. And for those who doesn't know what Bud Chiari syndrome is, basically like uh, you get a hepatic vein thrombosis. And we talk about a little bit about hepatic vein uh, at the beginning of this uh, lecture. The hepatic vein what basically shoots out everything within into the inferior vena cava. So obviously you get a thrombosis. Maybe you have some kind of myelodysplastic syndrome, polycythemia, rubivera, your bath control pills, some kind of uh, uh, um, pathophysiological dysfunction that's causing you to have uh, uh, coagulation and clotting. You know, some form of uh, fibrosis that would kill your liver, right? So uh, that's kind of like post hepatic. Uh, and uh, H, I just put hemochromatosis here actually, and that should work. Uh, hemochromatosis. And that's it, guys. That's absolutely it. And uh, if you just can know this, you know your AST and your ALT will be elevated, okay? So liver function tests are usually specific uh, to the liver, uh, but there's one more thing that we need to talk about, which is um, before I actually leave this chapter. So this is like hepatocellular. Like I said, they all infiltrate into the liver, causes some damage like the autoimmune hepatitis. Uh, like I said, if you look at your AST, AST is not specific. It's absolutely non specific. Believe it or not, like I said, ALT is specific to the liver. AST, you probably you can find it in a you can find it in a brain. You find it in your kidneys, skeletal muscles, in your heart. Right? So AST is not specific. So if a patient gets an elevated AST, big deal. Who cares? But if something's coming out of the liver as ALT, 
you start to worry a little bit like something infiltrative, some kind of pathophysiological mechanism is going on. I hope I'm able to break this down a little bit for you today just to talk about ESTs and ELT. The next chapter, we're going to talk a little about ALKFOS and uh, we kind of try to figure out what's going on with the biliary system, which I didn't really specifically talk about yet, And but you will be right back. Alright, thank you guys. Have a great day.